Hello and welcome to the online tutorial for the newly released version of Breeze Screen 3. This video gives a quick introduction to the new user interface. It also demonstrates a quick and easy modeling example. First, open the Screen 3 icon on your desktop. As this opens, we'll be prompted to either create a new project or open an existing one. For now, we'll click Cancel. The new user interface of Breeze Screen 3 uses a ribbon bar. We are currently on the Home tab. This page gives a lot of useful information. Related training, user manual, other documents, links to forum, support, and even the Breeze website. Next we move to the Project tab. This is where we input data and run the model. Notice these error signs. These disappear once the proper model inputs have been entered. Now we go to the control options. Here you can enter your project's title or other settings. The sources option tab allows for multiple sources and also multiple pollutants. This is a new feature that is a huge time saver. The receptor options allow the user to input receptor arrays, either automated or discrete. Now we go to the meteorology. Here you can select stability or wind speed combinations, along with temperature and anemometer height. The building tab allows for building downwash and is optional. We click OK and we see that all the fatal errors have disappeared. Finally, we can select the results tab. This is where our analysis results will be output in both graphical and data format. We are now ready to begin our modeling example. We will be modeling a hypothetical scenario for Texas Rangers Ballpark at Arlington. This is an urban site with an annual average temperature of 65 degrees Fahrenheit. This converts to 291.5 Kelvin. Here we see the border of the ballpark and the two sources. Source 1 is over home plate. It's an area source that is 5 by 5 meters in size. It's emitting methane at a rate of 3 e to the negative 4 grams per second. Our second source, which we'll call the right field foul pole, is a point source. It's emitting PM10 at 1 gram per second and carbon monoxide at 0.1 grams per second. A 30 meter high stack with a diameter of 1.5 meters. Its emission temperature is 310 Kelvin and the exit velocity of the pollutants is 2 meters per second. We now have all the information we need to start our model run. First, we go to the Project tab. Control. We'll call this Ballpark. It takes place in an urban setting inside of Arlington. Our first source is Home Plate. It's an area source at ground level that is 5 by 5 meters in size. emitting methane at an emission rate of 3 e to the negative 4 and we'll set a threshold concentration for this pollutant and the others at 50 micrograms per meter cubed. Now we add our second source, the right field foul pole, which is a point source that is 30 meters tall has a diameter of 1.5 meters. Its exit temperature is 310 Kelvin. And the exit velocity is 2 meters per second. It is emitting PM10 at a rate of 1 gram per second. And it's also emitting carbon monoxide at a rate of 0.1 grams per second. We go to the receptors, and we'll keep our standard automated receptor array. We'll also model the full meteorology, 
but we need to change the temperature to account for the annual average temperature at Arlington, which is 291.5 Kelvin. And we will not include building downwash for this scenario. Notice all of our errors have disappeared, and we're now ready to begin our model run, which we will call demo. It now iterates the different pollutants and sources and automatically takes us to the results tab. You can also see the outputs in a table format where yellow indicates values that are higher than our threshold and red indicates values of the highest concentration for each pollutant. We can also go to the text format and select source or different pollutants. With that, we're now able to begin modeling in screen 3.